that when Negroes stop getting drunk, when Negroes stop fornicating and committing adultery, when Negroes stop being addicted to drugs and these things that destroy the moral fiber and the morale of the Negro, then our people will be able to get together and unite in harmony and unity and get our own problem solved. Problem solved. Problem solved. I need some weed. Uh, nah. La la. Purple and pink. Tied I'm down. good. Shalom, family. Hey, I just I just had a conversation with my barber, man. And I know this is some val valuable information, so I'm going to share it with y'all. Um, I already gave it to my coalition. Shout out to the Unity and Survival Coalition. But, man, times is hard. And a lot of people, we got, we got a lot of debt. We got all kind of things we're trying to do. And it's hard to get up out of that because a lot of us live in paycheck to paycheck. The bills is, is is outnumbering our salaries and so it's hard to get on your feet so you know i learned the cheat code these past couple years and i want to share it with y'all and it's basically if you got a lot of credit card debt right and this strategy can be used um whether you got credit card debt or any other any other type of debt but you you need a credit card for this to work um I don't know if you guys have heard of balance transfer cards, uh, but if you have and you haven't been using them or looking into them, you're wrong. You, you're missing out on a cheat code, a true cheat code. What a balance transfer card is for those of you guys who don't know, it's a credit card, right? That allows you to transfer the balance from a different credit card to that card. And what they, you, you know, you, you might say, well, why would I want to just transfer a balance? I still, I'm still going to owe that money. Here's the brilliant thing about the balance transfer cards. When you transfer the balance from another credit card to that card, that card will charge you 0% interest for a certain term, right? Depending on the card. The, the, the shortest I've seen, the term, the shortest term I've seen is 12 months or a year, right? Basically. And the longest I've seen is 21 months. So that's almost two years, right? So you transfer a balance from another card to that card and the money that you transferred over or the, the, the debt that you transferred over, you're no longer paying interest on that for that amount of time. So now you can make payments to that and literally take that balance down as much as you can within that certain time frame. Now, if you can pay the card off, right, pay that, that full balance off within that time frame. There are some credit card uh, balance transfer cards that would allow you to make another balance transfer to it, right? And that way, it's not sitting on your other credit card charging you all of this interest because credit cards are charging a minimum of 20% interest, which is crazy. They raping people. So, long story short, get you a balance transfer card, man. If you, I'll give you an example. Say you have three three separate credit cards you and you owe $2,000 on each of those credit cards. A, at a minimum, they're charging you at least 20 to 25% interest on each of those credit cards. So the amount of time that it would take you to pay them cards off is, is crazy because majority of us are only making the minimum payment. We're only able to make the minimum payment. So on, on $2,000, your minimum payment might be $30, $60, but only... Maybe if it's thirty dollars, maybe four dollars of that is going to your actual balance, and the rest is going to interest because the interest is so high. So what you do is you get you a balance transfer card. Let's say you know, say your credit ain't that good. So say you get approved, but your 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 credit card limit on your balance transfer card is four thousand. Four thousand dollars. That's enough to transfer one whole credit card because, like I said, you got three cards and it's two thousand dollars on each card. You can transfer a full 2000 from one card and majority of the other card to the balance transfer because if you have a if you have a limit a credit limit of four thousand dollars you won't be able to put the full four thousand dollars on the card because they're going to charge you a fee to, to transfer the balance and the fee can be um anywhere from uh, uh five dollars to a hundred and hundred and five dollars or whatever right so that means it'll take a little bit off the top and you won't be able to transfer the full. You might be able to transfer like 38, 3,900, right, to it, right? So anyways, so you're basically taking the, the full balance off of one of your credit cards 
a majority of the balance off your other credit card and you put it on put it on a balance transfer card then what you have to do is that you have to put majority of your extra income that you have whatever you have and pay it towards your balance transfer card with the remaining credit the remaining two credit cards that you have a balance due on just pay the minimum amount whatever the minimum amount is don't worry about paying extra that's what the balance transfer card is there for you're gonna pay say at the end of after all your bills you only got three hundred dollars well now the minimum payment on a two thousand dollar card that you have is thirty dollars the remaining amount which is probably a hundred or two hundred dollars on the other credit card that minimum payment is probably going to be about three dollars or four dollars so pay that three or four dollars pay that you know that thirty dollar minimum balance on those and put everything else towards your balance transfer card so say you can put 260 let's just round it off to 260 260 out of your 300 so 40 dollars is going go, gonna go to the minimum payments on your other two cards and the remaining 260 dollars of extra income that you have is going to go towards your balance transfer card well you transfer what 30 let's say 3800 3800 to it so you have a balance of 3800 that 260 is going to go straight towards that balance so after you make that payment 3800 minus 260 that's what you're going that's what your balance is going to be and then you consistently make it every month and it comes down every month and as it's coming down guess what your credit score is going up the other reason why your credit score increases when you use a balance transfer card is once you get approved that credit limit it goes towards your total credit utilization your debt to income ratio increases because that card is a legit credit card right so if you had three cards and two thousand dollars due on each but if those balance um not the balance if the credit limits on those three cards was five thousand dollars each you technically have fifteen thousand dollars in terms of a line of credit now that you have this balance transfer card, that fifteen thousand went in, and increased to nineteen thousand. So now your credit, credit, um, credit utilization is increasing, and your debt is decreasing. So your debt to income ratio is is going up, which is good for your credit score. And another thing, while it's really good, is because although yes, applying for a balance transfer card is a hard inquiry on your credit report. So your your score will initially drop a few points from that card inquiry, or it may not. It might it might not, but if it does, it's okay because say your balance transfer card is is one of the the, the lower the lower ones, right? So you got a four thousand dollar balance, and your the term of the of the zero percent interest is twelve months, so just one year. Once you go through a whole cycle of of a full twelve month term your credit score is going to increase so much to the point where you can now apply for another balance transfer card and transfer over the the rest of the remaining debt now some cards when they see that you are paying you're making payments when you transfer a balance but you're making payments and you you get rid of the balance some cards will offer you an additional balance transfer offer so it's like it's just like you got a new credit a new balance transfer card but it's with the same card so they'll say all right we're gonna we want to offer you a special deal you can do another balance transfer with this card that you have and it'll be for another 12 months and you'll be like oh okay cool you don't even got to go out and take another hard um, inquiry against your credit but the term is so wide you got a, a minimum of a year that you know a hard inquiry in january of 2022 and then the hard inquiry of january 2023 is so far apart it's not going to look bad on your credit report so you're you're establishing wealth and you're getting rid of debt all at the same time and what i mean by wealth is your credit your credit score is a reflection of you as an individual in regards to how how good are you at borrowing money and handling certain debt the way they look at you from these these credit bureaus and these financial financial institutions so the higher your score the better they look at you right and then they send you more offers and different things like that you can literally rinse and repeat this strategy over and over and over again and you don't have to struggle with paying off all of this debt especially with your credit cards right 
And like I said, a lot of people don't know this and we're not talking about it. And so you can use this strategy, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can use this strategy for other things, right? Let's say, let's say you want to, say you've fallen behind in your rent, say you've fallen behind in something else, or you just want to make a purchase that, or, or make a purchase of, of something that you just don't have on you right now, right? Credit cards, regular credit cards will allow you to do cash advances and it'll just go towards your credit limit, right? So if your balance, if your balance is 5,000 and you have a thousand dollar balance currently on it, you have $4,000 left in available credit to use. Well, you can use a cash advance. Now, depending on the company, depending on the card, they have certain limits on your cash cash advance. I think the most I've seen on a cash advance was like 1500. But let's just say it's a thousand. So you already owe a thousand on your credit card. You can take a cash advance, which will put another thousand dollars worth of debt or balance on your credit card, but they give you the cash directly to your bank account. That money is not associated with credit anymore. Once that money is transferred to your bank account, it's it's, it's liquid funds. It, it goes to your bank account in the form of an ACH transfer. So that money can be used essentially for whatever you want it to be used for. Now, here's the kicker, right? Say you are $1,000 behind in rent but you can continuously make your regular rental payments. I'm not saying use this strategy if you can't make rent every month because you're just gonna fall under even deeper in, in a deeper hole. But say you only $1,000 behind. Get your cash advance, pay your rent, catch up on your rent, right? Now that $1,000 is now on your credit card, you can transfer that balance to a balance transfer card at 0% interest and pay that, pay that money off. Does that make sense? I hope I hope I really hope this does because it's a cheat code. It's a cheat code. Me and my wife has we have literally probably gotten rid of I don't even know, man. We've had so much so much credit card debt. I say over thirty thousand dollars easy. Over thirty thousand dollars we've been able to get got get uh we've been able to get rid of over thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt using this strategy it's very simple it's not hard um it's almost foolproof and the only reason why i say almost is because you do need a minimum credit score to uh, to apply for some of these balance transfers and it varies depending on the company and the type of card you can um look it up i like to use nerd wallet Go to Google and type in best uh, best balance transfer credit cards available because the, the different deals and the cards, they, they they change. They change every couple weeks, every couple months. So they got new cards in there. Cards come in, cards, cards get um, taken out. But um, if you got a decent little credit score and if your credit score isn't high, right, there's ways to um, repair your credit just to get it up high enough to be approved for a balance transfer card and then it's off to the races uh that's like the that's the main catch right you gotta have enough to be able to get the card in the beginning but um you know you can you can ask someone who um already has an established credit line and you can ask to see if you can be put as an authorized user on their accounts and what they can do is so that you don't get a your own actual physical card on their account you can have them either because there's there should be an option where they put you as an authorized user on their account but you don't get a card they have that card mailed to their house and then they just keep it either never activate it or activate it and just keep it on them so that way you don't have access to their to the money. And so when they authorize you as a authorized user on their on their account, what that does is that increases your credit utilization, right? Your debt to income ratio. It shows that you have more a uh, higher line of credit and that increases your score, especially if they're making their monthly payments on time, right? Cuz now now that's being reported it's making it look like you're making monthly payments on time. 
and it doesn't hurt them at all to have you on their thing at all it doesn't hurt them at all so it's not like um, getting a co-signer for like a loan or something like that isn't that's not what this is you're just basically authorizing them to be able to utilize a credit card on your line but if you never get the credit card then there's literally no risk to them at all because if you don't make payments on your credit cards they're not authorized user on your credit cards so it's not going to affect their uh, credit but you can do something like that to kind of build your credit up a little bit and then once you get in the door to be able to get a balance transfer card bro like the sky is the limit get rid of all of that debt all of that debt the credit bureaus was like dang like how's he paying all this stuff off yeah yeah i'm, I'm hitting him with it right i'm uh, catching catch all of this because i i hate i hate owing people i hate owing people i don't like having debt but my you know and i've been looking into like you know different business strategies and stuff like that so i don't i don't view debt the same way that i used to debt um isn't like a hundred percent negative thing it is if you're drowning in it and you can't get out but debt is useful and sometimes it's smarter to have debt than to um live in a hundred percent liquidity and what i mean by that is it just to be to live with a whole bunch of money in your bank account because you can utilize that money in your bank account to leverage to get even more money and you just have debt that's manageable that is revolving and you can you know what i'm saying you can do different things but anyways that's i, I ain't trying to make this a whole business video but balance transfer cards if you don't got one go get one if you don't know about it go research it if you know about them and you just haven't gotten into it then i'm asking you why haven't you gotten into it especially if you got credit card debt especially if you got credit card debt there are strategies to do all of these things um transfer the balance pay off the card if you if you got more debt than you than the card has in credit limit so you got say you some of us literally are in debt right say you got twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt before spread out between four five six different cards it's okay it is okay do what you can if your balance transfer card is literally only four thousand dollars limit okay do it in four thousand dollar chunks or thirty eight hundred chunks or whatever they, they're gonna charge you transfer that little bit over pay it off as fast as you can take the next chunk pay it off as fast as you can a lot of these balance transfer cards will allow you to continue making transfers up to a certain amount, up to a certain uh, date, right? Sometimes it's quick, where they'll say, okay, you, you're approved for this card, you got 0% interest for 12 months, however, you can only make uh, balance transfers for three for 90 days after your first balance transfer. So if you make a balance transfer, uh, balance transfer on January 1st, and they give you 90 days to give you three months and you have until March to make another balance transfer. So what do you do within within that 90 days? You transfer that 3,500 over, pay as much as that, uh, pay as much of that 3,500 off as you can. If you can pay all of it, do it. Get your balance as low as you can and then transfer everything else you can right before that, 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 um, the deadline, the 90 day deadline transfer it over even if it's if it's another 3500 great now you you uh, you've successfully transferred seven thousand dollars of your debt so that's seven grand that you can now focus on paying off for the remainder of the 12 month period and then once you complete that if they don't offer you a new offer it's okay put your balance transfer card because it now converts to a regular credit card with a regular interest rate put it in the back of your wallet forget about it if it has an annual fee, you do you want to keep checking on it. I, I I highly advise don't get any cards with annual fees because even after you pay them off, the annual fee will hit and you won't know it if you're not watching it. And then it's going to start um, reflecting negatively on you because they're going to report that you're not making payments to the credit bureau and it's going to bring your credit score down. So if you don't got an annual fee, throw it in the back of your wallet, never look at it again. And by this time, your credit, your credit score has increased because you've taken that debt down seven thousand dollars throw that throw that um throw that remaining money because you got what 20 i said 20k in debt so now you, you you've gotten that down to 13 thousand 13 thousand over over a year one year's time frame right 
get you another balance transfer card. Do the same thing again. This time, your credit score is higher, so now your credit limit might be five, six thousand dollars. Say if it's five thousand, transfer the five thousand over, make them payments, right? Make them payments, and then if they if it's, a, if it's another ninety day uh, limit, transfer five thousand dollars over, pay it down as much as you can. Say you can only pay it down to twenty five hundred. That's fine. Transfer the remaining uh, twenty five hundred over to it, cap to cap out that card, right? And then you pay, you spend the rest of that time paying it off. And you might have gotten to the point now where, uh, with your credit score, you 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 were approved for a card that has a 14 month term instead of a 12 month term. That gives you more time to pay it off. You can put more money to it each month, or you can stretch it out to the 14 months and divide whatever whatever the balance is by 14 and pay it in equal in, equal increments, right? So, the first time you did it, you were able to pay off $7,000. The second time you did it, $5,000 or close to $5,000 plus $2,500, you know what I'm saying? That's $7,500. Now, you just you got it down to thirteen k Take off another $7,500 of that and within your second, your second to third year of debt. And then whatever's left, rinse and repeat. And they might offer you, I'm telling you, if, you, if you're making these payments and you're doing what you need to do, they might offer you another another um, balance transfer within the same car so you don't even have to use your credit score. And then you can pay, by your third or your fourth round, you have the, that whole $20,000 paid off. Done. And you didn't have to pay interest on most of that. That's the, that's the beauty of it. Because $20,000 sitting in your sitting on those cards with those various interest rates cuz interest is charged daily it's not like oh we're going to take 20 20% of this one once one balance and that's a one time fee no they every day they're charging you right you by the time you pay off $20,000 worth of credit card debt you've probably paid those credit card companies anywhere from sorry about that the phone got too hot so it cut off the video cut off the video so I got the AC in full blast right now just to keep it cool but basically after a couple rounds of that you'll pay off that whole 20k because the interest that you're gonna pay on that 20k by the time you pay it all the way off is probably gonna be I say anywhere between 32 and 36 thousand dollars and I'm just being a hundred percent real with you because when you're making those minimum payments yeah they're manageable right but it's just like a car note. It's just like a house note. If you don't pay it before the term is over, you're going to be paying way too much. Way too much. And be smart with your money. Be smart with your money because you got stuff that you need to do. You know what I'm saying? We all got stuff we need to do. Whether you're trying to prep, get ready for this tribulation like we are at Unity and Survival Coalition. Or you're trying to, you know, be able to do something else with your family. You know, do those different things. Balance transfers is where it's at. You got any questions about balance transfer cards? Go research it for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. You can hit me up. Hit me up. Comment, like, subscribe. You know, always. I'm trying to help everybody out. Um, you can email me at lyrical.entertainment21 at gmail.com. If you got any more questions. If you want to get into scriptures, hit me up. But I hope y'all out, man. I love y'all. Shalom. Peace.